How's it going guys, Jackson here with the Toaster Bros, and today we're going to be doing the benchmark of the 1800X paired with the R9 380, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so first question you might be wondering is why the R9 380 with the 1800X? Well, the only reason I'm doing that is because I've not had a chance to upgrade that card yet. It still does keep up with everything, but with the 1800X in this system, it really does need an upgrade. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the type of benchmarks I'm getting with the pair. So of course the first game we have here is Rocket League. So we got a minimum of 53 FPS, a max of 81, and an average of 75, and this is all at 1920 by 1080 with max settings. Next up we have a pretty painful game of CSGO Online. So we had a minimum of 152 FPS, a maximum of 294 FPS, and an average of 204 FPS. Next up is a game I benchmark a lot, it's actually still in alpha slash beta, it's called The Forest, and it actually has really really good graphics. Now they're not extremely well optimized, but they've definitely gotten a lot better. So we had a minimum of 51 FPS, a max of 73, and an average of 60. So the last game we will be testing is Battlefield 1. So this game has really awesome graphics. We ran it at 1920 by 1080 at max settings. So we had a minimum of 59 FPS, a max of 61 FPS, and an average of 59.9 or just 60 FPS. So in conclusion, the R9 380 matched with the 1800X actually performs really well. I don't see any bottlenecking happening. Although the graphics card is of course holding the 1800X back, if we were to have a better card, I'm sure we'd be seeing some better numbers, but we did have at least an average of 60 FPS on every game we tested, and I imagine if we threw any other games at it, we'd probably see the same type of results. So if you were to want to throw things at it, like recording with fraps, for example, I do have trouble doing that. Um, on a lot of games, I end up dropping frames, so I had to use something like OBS to record because you got to use something that's a little bit less graphics and a little bit less storage intensive. So stay tuned for when I match the 1800X up with a brand new card.